Good day guys, welcome back to my channel, it's me Nate, and today we're back with a DCS video. Now, if the cockpit here looks unfamiliar, uh, that's because we're actually using a DCS mod, and today we're looking at the DCS MiG-31. Uh, this is the MiG-31 BM model, um, it's a mod available from the DCS forums, I found it on, a, on a, uh, recently while just trolling through mods for FXX and DCS. Um, I do believe that the skin is probably, most likely, from the default DCS, although, you know, still the cockpit is incredibly well done, let me just turn on my track for a second. Um, yeah, Oop, let me reset. Uh, everything is, is, is mo most of the stuff is mod. You can see the occasional texture missing there, occasional texture missing here, but you know, made, by the most of it, like 80% of it's there. Even the little panel at the back, you can see through the, well, in theory, you can see through the, uh, the, the weapon system officer or the navigator type. Um, but yeah, no, all, all, all very well done. It's even got its own little um, display here, which is unusual. So, you know, it's a very nice touch. Very well done. I, I, I really like it. Uh, now, there are a few very minor, I'm not going to say issues, but they're quirks to, to the mod. Um, I initially suspected it was an F-15 flight model, um, most because that would be the most similar flight model for uh, the, the, the MiG-31. However, it's come to my attention that actually this may be a souped-up Su-25T, uh, which for reasons I'll explain a little bit later. But first, let me arm the aircraft. Now, th the other quirk is that you cannot arm the aircraft from the mission editor, so you have to arm them game. So firstly, let's load up some R33s, and uh, let's load up some oh, well, Ts. Really, got to put the radar model in. We'll put the radar model in there. Now these are absolutely massive missiles, and according to the Wikipedia, which I looked up like a couple of hours ago, the R40s and the wingtips here you'll see in a second here are the biggest uh, air to air missiles ever made. Um, which I can understand. I mean, the, the MiG-31 Max is actually a fairly large aircraft until you actually stand it next to something like an F-16, which is a little bit, which is actually probably quite a bit smaller. Uh, you won't know how big these weapons are. And these weapons are obviously designed to be launched at extremely altitudes at um, targets at very long range, which is why they're huge. Uh, it's huge because of the warhead and the, and the tracking system built into it. So they were designed to fly really long range. Um, I mean, it's got like a, it's basically a small little aircraft. Um, to guide itself to a target, and because of the range, um, the accuracy was in question, so they decided, the Russians decided just to put a massive warhead in these, and you see it's a humongous um, missile. I mean, it's long, but also quite thick. Right. Anyway, so yeah, that's, so you have to shut down the aircraft to do all that. So let's start up the engines. I don't know where the sounds come from either, I have a suspicion it's probably from the default. I promise once I get to the weapon launch stage, and I'll explain to you the. Uh, oh, I'll explain to you the weapon launch now. So once I get, once once I get in the air, I'll just be quiet, and you guys can just watch the animations, which, which is always fun. Let's test out all the systems. Everything works. All good. Now, how I came to realize it might have been SU-25T launch um, system is when I tried to use the radar to, to use all the weapons. Now these are all radar guided weapons, uh, and I couldn't for for for, for the for the. For for the life of me trying to work out why the weapons were launching, and it turns out you had to use the electric optical system to launch the weapons, which um, which leads me to believe that this may have been actually an Ashen 25T model. So that's why the radar we weapons won't work on radar mode. But that's only an educated guess, um, and I'm not particularly well educated, so that's basically just a guess. Uh, anyways, I've I've set up a B-52 ahead of me. And we're going to target lock, and we'll launch the missiles. You can guys have a good look at that. All right. Let's see. Once we're at once we're at about seventy, we're good to go. Okay, so we're at seventy. So let's go. Accent on the screenshot there. All right, we're gears up. All right, so. BVR modes, swap to the R33s. Now, I, I will demonstrate to you why the radar won't work. What you'll find is that once you turn on the radar, and as soon as you try to lock something up, it, it, it won't lock. So let me see if I can find that B52 I had earlier. There it is. So we're currently on radar mode, and as soon as I try and lock them up, which, if it will let me, that would be great. Yeah, it'll break the, the lock breaks. The lock breaks immediately. So this is the radar mode. So let's put on to infrared mode. 
Locks fine. So let's launch an R33. We launch. I got no. I got no launch authorization. Now this is another problem I'm having actually at the moment. Well, that was embarrassing. Uh, there was another. Uh, the other problem I'm having with the moment is getting launch authorization. So I'm actually having real problems getting launch off, which I suspect is something to do with the, the, the mod system. So you need to mod your uh, game to have a launch override button. So I bought mine to here somewhere. Launch authorized. There we go. Now we'll go weapon mode. It's away. Absolutely humongous missile. For quite a while. So let's launch. I now the, uh, this is uh it's supposed to be um semi-active and tracking, but because it's modded, I I absolutely can't tell if it actually is really. But we'll find out in a second because I broke the lock. And how far is the missile? The missile is tracking quite quite way fast. There we go. A long way to go. Uh, we'll have to burn up to the. Uh, I'll have to burn up a bit and see if I can get another missile launch off. It's still going, still going quite quickly. 400. Oh, that's boosting energy. Alright, so let's get a bit closer. And that's it, guys. So that's the uh, the Big Thirty One. So um, obviously, weapon systems aren't perfect, but you know, the flight model is you know it's pliable. It looks great. I mean, that's that's really what I'm after here, and I'm pretty pleased with that. It looks fantastic. Um, and I'm I'm gonna test out if it works in multiplayer. And if it does, I will definitely upload another video of, of us you know doing some stuff on multiplayer. All right, guys. Well, until next time, it's Nate out.